Hi guys, today I found a very interesting question from the Cambridge Year 11 Extension 1. It's in chapter 10e and it's question 14. So, let's take a look at it. So, this question tells us that we have a polynomial px equals to x to the power 5 plus x squared plus 1. And this polynomial has five zeros. And there's another polynomial, q of x, which is equal to x squared minus 2. So the question asks us to find q of r1 times q of r2 times all the way to q of r5. Hmm. Now, how do we start solving this problem? So let's see. This polynomial has five zeros, r1 to r5. So then, if we want to figure this out, why don't we just substitute these five roots into this polynomial? So then, it will become times all the way to r5 squared minus 2. Now, let's see. If you unpack this, it would be really hard because, first of all, there would be way too many terms. And, second of all, there will always be terms like r1 squared, r2 squared, all the way to r5 squared. So it's almost impossible to use the root formula. So that's why we should not unpack this. So how do we make this better? We reduce the power since it's minus. So we can change it into r1 plus square root 2 times r1 minus square root 2 and then times all the way to r5 plus square root 2 times r5 minus square root 2. Now I'll rearrange these 10 brackets into the first five brackets being the plus version and the last five brackets into the negative version. So, let's see. Hmm. How do you connect this to the polynomial? So, r1 to r5 are roots of that. So then, why don't we make a simple substitution? You just let the inside equal to another variable. So we can let ri, where i goes from 1 to 5, plus square root of 2, equals another variable, x of i. How about this? So, so we know that ri equals xi minus square root of 2. Now this is just another form of r, and it's still a root. So what do we do? We can substitute that in. So p of r will equal to p of this, which will equal to just substitute this into all of the x's. OK, now it, bec it becomes this. So let's see. Hmm. So one property of a root is if you substitute that root into the polynomial it comes with, then it will always equal zero. So this will equal zero. So now we can just unpack all of these into this is what the fully unpacked term will be. And then I'll just work the rest out. So now we can figure out what x1 multiplied all the way to x5 is. So it will just, by using the root formula, we can do negative this term over a, which is 1. So it will just become this. Now, this is only for the first five brackets. Now we need to do the last five brackets which is the negative one. So, using the same logic, we can let ri minus square root of 2 equals xi. So, ri equals xi plus square root of 2. And if you guys unpack this by yourself, then it will become
So now we can do the same thing and um, x1 all the way to x5. For this one is the same thing as that, but just negative. So then it becomes negative this term over a, which is still one. So if you already put the negative in the brackets, then it just becomes this. So this is the first five brackets and this is the last five brackets, but we need all of them. So what do we do? We multiply them. So I'm going to rewrite using, um, using the substitute version. Okay, so this is just Q because that's all we're trying to figure out and that's the answer. Equals 2. If you unpack this by yourself, it becomes negative 23. So, this is the final answer of the interesting polynomial question that I found in the Cambridge Year 11 Extension 1, Chapter 10e. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you liked my previous video, and you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.